with you, but uh, things were pretty hectic tonight. Um, obviously not too bad of a night for us. Made it all the way to the LCQ. Um, finished seventh, I think, in the LCQ, so really not too bad. Almost made the feature um, in a field of uh, outlaw non-wings when I've got a stock in there, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that, all things considered. Um, one thing about uh, the way they've kind of done things here, and uh, I would have probably not even gotten to talk to you guys as much last night if I had paid more attention, but every time they get done with like heats or qualifiers, they rework the track. Um, and that kind of threw me off a little bit last night. Um, kind of, I dealt with it better tonight, but being able to just take the time to watch the track here is pretty important, so that's kind of why I've, you guys haven't heard from me since uh, since the beginning of the night, so sorry about that, but I'm kind of going to have to do that tomorrow again, probably. Um, I don't really care for the way that they're doing that, like, I kind of get it, they have to do it because if they don't, it's going to take rubber, but, and just tear up tires, but, uh, like, it just absolutely killed us in that qualifier yesterday. Um, luckily, I didn't get caught in that situation again tonight. Um, went fourth to third in my heat race. I, I probably could have done better there. That was probably on me. Um, but this running the cushion here is just really different feeling. So it's like a lot of times when you get on a, a track that's putting up a lot of dust, you'll get up on that cushion and it looks like there might be moisture there, but it's just dust and you'll get your right rear up in it and you'll just slide way out to the wall thinking there's going to be grip there and there's just nothing there. Well, that's kind of what it's like here, but it's, there's some moisture to it. There's some moisture, but then if you get in a little too high and get above that moisture, you will slide all the way out to the wall. So it's kind of being able to find that balance um it's just kind of unlike anything i've ever been on before um the bottom slicks off and takes rubber pretty pretty quick um and like at the very beginning of the night before they reworked it for heat races it was just dry slick dusty all the way out to the wall there was just no cushion at all but um once the surface gets worked in, it is pretty racy, pretty good, pretty good options. You know, you can run the bottom or the top. Cars were fast everywhere. Um, and it kind of comes and goes, you know, sometimes the bottom's better, sometimes the top's better. Um, but it's pretty racy once they get it worked in. It just kind of sucks that they have to do it over and over again, but it kind of is what it is. Um, so I didn't make the feature tonight. Uh, the qualifier I went, I think seventh to fifth, and that was good enough to make the LCQ. Started sixth and then went to seventh. So overall, not a bad night. Um, I really need to do a little better though. Um, like I'm happy with what we did, but I just, I really need to be able to kind of make some money back. and. Uh, here the last two nights you don't make any money back unless you actually make the feature so that's kind of disappointing um, but if I can just start the feature tomorrow night that's $500 so that's really what I'm hoping for what I'm working towards being able to start the feature because uh, I think once I get in the feature I'll even be able to be a little more competitive as a track you know changes throughout that long long run I think it's 40 or 50 laps tomorrow night that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I I don't know if it'll happen based on the last two nights, no, but we're gonna give it everything we've got. Um, I'll have a link to a playlist with all three nights of this um, at the end of this video and probably in the description down below, so be on the lookout for that where you can watch all three nights. 
Um, other than that, just want to say thanks to Nathan Benson Motorsports and G-Force Chassis, most state construction, Sherville suspensions, uh, DDI fabrication, AFD graphics, uh, GoPro, uh, and everyone else that uh, follows along and supports my racing career. Uh, thanks all you guys for following along with this channel. It really means a lot to me. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And I'll see you for the next one tomorrow night for night number three, 10,000 to win here at Circuit City Speedway.